Hello dear students, welcome to the online CET, NEET and JAA classes. Students, in the previous video, we already discussed some multiple choice questions on the chapter classification of elements and periodicity in properties. Students, in this video, I am going to solve some more multiple choice and very important questions on the same topic classification of elements and periodicity in properties let's move with the new question students first question the increasing order of electron affinity values of oxygen sulfur and selenium is the increasing order of electron affinity values of oxygen sulfur and selenium is option a oxygen less than sulfur less than selenium option b sulfur less than oxygen less than selenium option c selenium less than oxygen less than sulfur option d selenium less than oxygen greater than sulfur students the electron affinity when we observe the given options the electron affinity of selenium is greater than oxygen remember this one electron affinity of selenium is greater than the oxygen the reason for this is the small size of oxygen atom as compared to the selenium atom and so its charge density is high and when if we add an electron to oxygen atom then the repulsion between electrons will increase remember if we add electron if we add an electron to oxygen atom the repulsion between electrons will be increased therefore option c selenium less than oxygen less than sulfur is the correct order of electron affinity remember atomic size of selenium is very large therefore right answer for the given question is option c option c is the right answer next question number 75 the valence cell of element A contains 3 electrons while the valence cell of element B contains 6 electrons. Element A contains 3 electrons while valence cell of element B contains 6 electrons. If A combines with B, the probable formula of the compound formed will be the given options like option A AB2 type, option B A2B type, option C A2B3 type, option D A3B2 type. Which one is the right answer? Students according to the question, the first element A has three electrons on its outermost cell or also called as valence cell. Therefore its valency is 3. And the second element B, it has 6 electrons in its outermost cell. Element A, it contains 3 valence electrons and element B, it contains 6 valence electrons. Yes, if it contains 6 electrons, then its valency is 2 because it needs 2 electrons to get octet configuration. So the element formed will be cross multiplication it becomes A2 B3 A2 B3 So the element formed will be A2 B3 option C A2 B3 is right answer Next question number 78 the basic character of MgO BaO, Na2O and FeO follows the order. Yes, in the given options, they they given a well order of respective oxides of the elements magnesium, 
barium, sodium, iron. Yes, students, which one is the correct order? Students, the basic character of metal oxides, remember this point, the basic character of metal oxides decreases from left to right in a period and increases down the group. Remember this point, very important. The basic character of metal oxides decreases from left to right in a period and increases down the group. And the oxides of alkali metals are more basic than alkaline earth metals. Remember this one. Oxides of alkali metals are more basic than the alkaline earth metals. On moving down the group of alkali metals or alkaline earth metals, the basic character increases. If we move down the group alkali metals or alkaline earth metals, the basic character is increases. Hence, the increasing order of basic character is MgO. Usually, one of the order MgO less than SrO less than K2O less than CS2O is respective oxides order is given here. Yes, you remember this order. If you know this concept, the right answer for the given portion is option C. FeO less than MgO less than BaO less than Na2O. Which one is the right answer students? Option C. The basic character of metal oxides decreases from left to right in a period and increases down the group. Next question number 81. Among potassium, calcium, iron and zinc, the element which can form more than one binary compound with chlorine is. Among potassium, calcium, iron and zinc, the element which can form more than one binary compound with chlorine is. Option A. Iron. Option B. Zinc. Option C. Potassium. Option D. Calcium. Students carefully observe the given question along with the options. When we observe the given options, among potassium, calcium, iron and zinc, remember, among potassium, calcium, iron and zinc, iron can form more than one binary compound. Remember iron itself it can form more than one binary compounds. With the chlorine because Fe shows two oxidation states like plus 2 and plus 3. Here iron it shows plus 2 and plus 3 oxidation state. So it can form either FeCl2 and Fe2Cl3. But calcium shows only plus 2 oxidation state. It shows only plus 2 oxidation state and K it shows plus 1 oxidation state and zinc shows plus 2 oxidation state and chlorine it exists only in minus 1 oxidation state therefore the right answer for the given question is option A Fe remember students among the given options only iron shows variable oxidation state so it can form two types of chlorides one is FeCl2 and one is Fe2Cl3 or Fe2Cl3 yes next question question number 87 which of the following order is correct for the property mentioned in the brackets yes here in the options they given respective order and type of the order involves 
In the option A, they given S2 minus ion, Cl minus K plus and Ca plus 2 with increasing order in presence of ionization energy. In the option B, C is less than N, less than F, less than oxygen according to the second ionization energy. Option C, boron, greater than aluminium, greater than gallium, greater than indium, greater than thallium based on electronegativity. And option D, Na plus ion, greater than Li plus, greater than Mg2 plus, greater than Be2 plus, greater than Al3 plus. This order is based on ionic radius. Which one is right? Students, when we observe the option A, see here, when we observe the option A, the correct order is, correct order is, Ca2 plus greater than K plus greater than Cl minus greater than S2 minus. Yes, it is based on the ionization energy. Ionization energy. Yes, if you, you observe option B, correct order is, yes, option B, correct order is carbon less than nitrogen less than fluorine less than oxygen it is based on the second ionization energy second electron removal from oxygen requires more energy it acquires stable 2s2 2p3 configuration after removal of one electron students when you observe the option c here the correct order is boron greater than thallium greater than indium greater than gallium and greater than aluminium this order is based on the electronegativity 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 yes students remember in general electronegativity increases in boron family from top to bottom due to increase in effective nuclear charge on valence cell while boron has highest electronegativity due to its very small size and option D the correct order is Na plus greater than Li plus greater than Mg2 plus greater than Al3 plus greater than Be, Be2 plus S. Okay, students, it is based on the ionic radius. Remember, ionic radius depends on electron. Sorry, ionic radius it depends on effective nuclear charge and number of cells. Therefore, right answer for the given question is option B. Next question number 89. The lowest electron affinity of fluorine than that of chlorine is due to. The lower electron affinity of fluorine than that of chlorine is due to. Option A, smaller size. Option B, smaller nuclear charge. Option C, difference in their electronic arrangement. Option D, is its highest reactivity. Since the question is based on electron affinity, remember electron affinity of fluorine is less than that of fluorine due to mainly two reasons. What are those two reasons see here? One is the small size of fluorine atom. Remember small size of fluorine atom it makes the 2p subcell more compact because of this it results in repulsion among electrons of the valence cell and also with the electron to be added due to this fluorine atom has less tendency to accept the electron and another point related to this concept because of small size of fluorine there will be high electron density around the nucleus. Remember students, because of small size of fluorine, there will be high electron density around the nucleus. 
this high electron density screens the nucleus because of this effective nuclear charge gets decreased thus the electron is having less attraction during addition and electron affinity of fluorine gets decreased remember students this is very important so the lower electron affinity of fluorine then that of fluorine is mainly due to its small size means option a is the right answer next question number 92 what is the correct order of electronegativity s yes, here they given here m minus here m it present it represents one particular metal or element right yes carefully observe the all given four options with the correct order so question is what is the correct order of electronegativity students one thing you remember higher the positive charge higher the positive charge greater is the electronegativity means greater the positive charge greater will be the electronegativity and higher the negative charge remember higher the negative charge the lesser is the electronegativity so electronegativity order is simply written as m minus 1 greater than m2 minus greater than m3 minus greater than m4 minus this one is the correct order so where it is present students s it is in the option b therefore correct or right answer is option b yes students next here i take some multiple choice questions on the past computation multiple choice question part in this first question among the elements calcium magnesium phosphorus and chlorine the order of increasing atomic radii is very important among the elements calcium magnesium phosphor and chlorine the order of increasing atomic radii is option a ca is less than mg less than p less than cl option b mg is less than ca less than cl less than p and option c cl less than p less than mg less than ca in the option d they given p is less than cl less than ca less than mg which one is the right answer students the atomic radii decreases remember the atomic radii decreases on moving from left to right in a period as remember atomic radii it becomes decreases on moving from left to right in a period thus order of sizes for cl phosphorus and magnesium is they observed in the order of cl less than p less than mg right students another part down the group size increases down the group size increases then the overall order is observed like cl is less than p less than mg less than ca so which one is the right answer students s option b sorry which one is the right answer here option c option c is the right answer s option c is the correct order next question number 6 students the increasing order of the ionic radii of the given isoelectronic species i think you know about isoelectronic species means they contain same number of electrons s in the given options the increasing order of ionic radii s which one is the right answer students an isoelectronic series or species is useful in understanding the effects of electron gained or loss of electron of an atom in the atom or molecule see here if the atom or molecule is negatively charged 
as an additional electron occupies an outer orbital there is a increased electron electron repulsion means here increase in the shielding effect which pushes the electrons further apart because there is a repulsion because the electrons now in outer number there are number of protons in the ion the protons can not pull the extra electrons as tightly towards the nucleus this results in the decreases of effective nuclear charge therefore the ionic radii increases whereas it is very or it is vice versa when it is positively charged you remember one thing the increasing order of ionic radii of the given isoelectronic species is ca2 plus k plus cl minus and s2 minus therefore option c is the right answer next question number 7 which of the following represents the correct order of increasing first ionization enthalpy for calcium barium sulfur selenium and argon as carefully observe the order of the elements in a given options which one is the right answer students before going to the options first you remember one thing on moving along a period from left to right what happens to the ionization energy on moving along a period from left to right ionization energy increases and on moving down the group ionization energy definitely decreases hence the correct order is b a less than c a less than s c less than s less than r com you remember the right answer for this question is a uh, right here good order beryllium less than calcium less than selenium less than sulfur less than r com it is the correct order so remember it is the correct order of increasing first ionization enthalpy first ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy increases along the period but decreases down the group remember students the ionization energy of an element increases as one moves across a period in the periodic table because the electrons are held together by the higher effective nuclear charge the ionization energy of the elements decreases as one move down the group because the electrons are held in a lower energy orbitals away from the nucleus and therefore are less tightly bound students argon has higher ionization energy because it is a noble gas and barium has the lowest ionization energy as it is in the sixth period and more metallic as therefore which one is the correct answer students option c barium less than calcium less than selenium less than sulfur less than argon is the correct order it represents the correct order of increasing first ionization enthalpy for the given elements students next question number 9 the series of sorry the species argon potassium ion and calcium ion contain same number of electrons in which order do their radii increase as option a ca2 plus less than ar less than k plus carefully observe the given options option b ca2 plus less than k plus less than ar means argon option c k plus less than ar less than ca2 plus option d argon less than potassium ion less than calcium ion 
Yes, which one is the right answer, students? Or which one is the correct option? Students, the species argon, potassium ion and calcium ion. They contain same number of electrons. Therefore, these are also an example for isoelectronic species. The number of protons present in argon, potassium and calcium. Yes, in presence of particular ionic form. In presence of argon, it contains how many protons? Argon, it contains 18 protons. And K plus, it contains 19 protons. And Ca, Ca2 plus, yes, 2 electron plus, but protons are 20, yes, respectively. The number of electrons is in same, but the number of protons means effective nuclear charge increases in the order argon less than potassium less than calcium Ca plus 2. Since argon has fully filled cells, it will have high electron electron repulsion in its cell and it has largest radius among potassium and calcium. Calcium has larger size and on moving from left to right the atomic size decreases. Students, therefore the radii increase in the order that is Ca2 plus less than K plus less than R. Yes, this one is the right answer. Which one is the correct answer students? Question number 9, option B is the right answer. Option B is the right answer. Next question number 12. In which of the following options the order of arrangement does not agree with the variation of property indicated against it? In which of the following options the order of arrangement does not agree with the variation of property indicated against it? Option A, Al3+, plus, less than Mg2+, plus, less than Na+, plus, less than F-, minus in the increasing ionic size. Option B, boron, less than carbon, less than nitrogen, less than oxygen, increasing first ionization enthalpy. Option C, iodine, less than bromine, less than chlorine, less than fluorine, increasing electron grain enthalpy. Option D, lithium, less than sodium, less than potassium, less than rubidium, based on the increasing metallic radius. Which one is the right answer? Yes, which one is the right answer? Students, the electron gain enthalpy, the electron gain enthalpy of chlorine is more than fluorine because in it the added electron goes to the smaller energy level where n equal to 2. Hence it suffers significant repulsion from the electrons already present in its cell. First ionization enthalpy of nitrogen, remember very important point, first ionization enthalpy of nitrogen is more than oxygen due to half filled p orbitals which makes nitrogen more stable yes students remember the correct order is boron less than carbon less than oxygen less than nitrogen Generally, ionization energy increases across a period, but here, first ionization energy of oxygen is less than the first ionization energy of nitrogen. This is due to the half filled 2p orbitals in nitrogen because you know nitrogen electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, which is more stable than the 2p orbital of oxygen, that is, but 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. The correct order of electron affinity is iodine is less than bromine, less than fluorine, less than chlorine. Halogens have very high electron affinities which decreases on moving down the group. However, fluorine has lower value than chlorine which is due to the small size and repulsion between the electrons. So, correct option is option B. Option B is the right answer. Next question number 14. The element 
z equal to 114 and 114 has been discovered recently the element z atomic number is 114 has been discovered recently it will belong to which of the following family or group and electronic configuration option a carbon family and with respect to electronic configuration is given or oxygen family or nitrogen family or halogen family students the given atomic number 114 as yes, here element z equal to 114 has been discovered recently it will belong to carbon family and its electronic configuration is red on 5f14 6d10 7s2 7p2 remember which are element having atomic number 114 its electronic configuration is red on 5f14 6d10 7s2 and 7p2 it belongs to 7th period remember it belongs to 7th period and 14th group it belongs to 7th period and 14th group 14th group element hence the correct option is which one carbon family means option a is the right answer next question number 16 both lithium and magnesium displays several similar properties due to the diagonal relationship however the one which is incorrect is both lithium and magnesium display several similar properties due to diagonal relationship however the one which is incorrect is option a both form basic carbonates option b both form soluble carbonates next option c both form nitrides option d nitrates of both lithium and magnesium yield no2 and o2 on heating students when we observe the given options both lithium and magnesium it combined directly with nitrogen remember both lithium and magnesium they combine directly with the nitrogen molecule and they give respective nitrides if you take an example li3 li3n means lithium nitride or also you can take example mg3n2 magnesium nitride yes bicarbonates of lithium and magnesium are more soluble in water than carbonates whereas carbonates of the alkali metals are more soluble hydroxide and nitrates of both lithium and magnesium they decompose on heating with or heating they give oxides if you take an example if uh, lithium nitrate it undergoes decomposition it forms lithium oxide nitrogen dioxide with the oxygen yes magnesium and it always form a basic carbonate while lithium form normal carbonate it does not form basic carbonates so the correct answer for the given question is option a both form basic carbonates option a is the right answer yes friends next another one question this question is taken from your applied multiple choice question part which is present in your provided material yes what is the question read carefully along with the questions following statements regarding periodic trends of chemical reactivity of the alkali metals and the halogens are given which of these statements gives the correct picture option a chemical reactivity increases with the increase in atomic number down the group in both the alkali metals and halogens option b in alkali metals the reactivity increases but in the halogens it decreases with increase in atomic number down the group option c the reactivity decreases in the alkali metals but increases in the halogens with increase in atomic number down the group 
ऑप्शन डी इन बोथ द अल्कली मेटल्स एंड द हेलोजेंस द केमिकल रिएक्टिविटी एस विच वन इज द राइट आंसर स्टूडेंट्स इन अल्कली एज वी मूव डाउन द ग्रुप साइज इंक्रीजेस the sun ability to loss an electron increases remember this point in alkali as we move down the group size increases thus and ability to loss the electron increases this reactivity is also increases but in case of halogens the reactivity decreases because of the some reasons like it is due to decrease in electron negativity down the group decrease in oxidizing ability due to the inert pair effect increase in atomic radius down the group which is which lessens the attraction of valence electrons of other atoms thus decreasing the reactivity therefore the right answer for the given question is option b in alkali metals the reactivity increases but in the halogens it decreases with increase in the atomic number down the group okay, students one theoretical concept if you want to know more about this question see here the alkali metals are highly reactive because you know their first ionization potential is very low hence they have great tendency to lose the electron from unpositive ion on moving down the group from lithium to cesium ionization energy decreases hence the reactivity increases thus the halogens are most reactive elements due to their low bond dissociation energy high electron affinity and high enthalpy of hydration halide ion however their reactivity decreases with increase in atomic number therefore option b is the right answer yes next question number 3 students which group is called buffer group of the periodic table which group is called buffer group group of the periodic table option a first group option b seventh group option b eighth group and option d zero group students zero group is called as buffer group because it lies between highly electronegative halogens and highly electron positive alkali metal elements remember students zero group is also called as buffer group because it is placed between highly electro positive metals mean group 1 and highly electronegative non metals like group 17 elements for the right answer for the given question is option d next question number 5 what is the order of what is the order of ionization energies of the kinase metal what is the order of ionization energy of the kinase metal option a cu is greater than ag great less than au cu greater than ag greater than au cu less than ag less than au option d au means gold greater than silver less than copper students you know copper its electronic configuration is 3d 10 4s 1 and silver it is 4d 10 5s 1 and au its electronic configuration it is 4f14 5d10 6s1 in all above given cases unpaired s electron has to be removed in the case of copper a 4s electron is to be removed which is closer to the nucleus than the 5s electron of the ag so ionization energy or first ionization energy of copper is greater than first ionization energy of ag however in case of au due to the inert pair effect or screening effect of 14 electrons remember due to imperfect screening effect of 
14 electrons of 4f orbitals the nuclear charge increases and therefore 5s electrons of au is more tightly held thus order of first ionization energy is copper greater than silver greater than au as which one is the right answer students option a sorry this one copper is greater than silver less than au so option a is the right answer next question number 7 the correct order of stability relative stability of half filled and completely filled subcell is the correct order of relative stability of half filled and completely filled subcell is option a pq means p3 greater than d5 less than d10 less than p6 option b d5 greater than p3 greater than d10 greater than p6 option c d5 less than p3 less than d10 less than p6 option d p3 greater than d10 less than d5 less than p6 which one is the right answer students as we know from our knowledge of atomic structure if we are talking about the some principal quantum number then p orbitals are more stable than the d orbital remember p orbitals are more stable than d orbital but a completely filled d orbital is more stable than half a filled p orbital because it does not need more electrons to complete its orbital hence the correct order of relative stability of half a filled and completely filled subcell is d to the power 5 means d5 d5 less than p3 less than d10 less than p6 remember one of the theoretical concept fulfilled p orbitals is more stable than fulfilled d orbitals remember fulfilled p orbitals is more stable than fulfilled d orbitals means p to the power 6 is greater stable than d10 similarly half filled p orbital is more stable than half filled d orbitals it is written like p3 greater than d5 right and the correct order is d5 less than p3 less than d10 less than p6 or it is a reverse order if you write p6 greater than d10 greater than p3 greater than if d5 yes which one is the right answer students option c option c is the right one next question number 9 the incorrect statement is incorrect statement is option a the second ionization energy of selenium is greater than that of second ionization energy of arsenic option b the first ionization energy of c2 plus ion carbon 2 plus ion is greater than that of first ionization energy of nitrogen 2 plus ion option c the third ionization energy of fluorine is greater than that of the third ionization energy of oxygen option d halogens have highest ionization energy in respective period which one is the right answer students for answering this question first you see each point detail related to this question selenium you know its uh, electronic configuration it is argon 3d10 4s2 4p4 as if you removed an electron as it becomes argon 3d10 4s2 4p3 and arsenic its electronic configuration argon 3d10 4s2 4p3 if you remove this electron it becomes argon 3d10 4s2 4p3 students the first ionization energy of arsenic is greater than those due to half filled p orbital but the second ionization energy of selenium is greater than this option a is correct 
Next, you know, carbon electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. But after removal of two electrons, it becomes 1s2, 2s2 only. And nitrogen, you know, its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. But after losing two electrons, it becomes 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. This is correct as C2 plus has greater first ionization energy than nitrogen as means N2 plus as C2 plus has completely filled valence orbital. In the option C, they given Mg, its, its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Mg has fulfilled Mg has fulfilled valence cell as Na it contains 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 compared to sodium. Therefore, magnesium has magnesium has filled valence cell as sodium. Next in the option D. In a period, noble gas has highest ionization energy because of completely filled electronic configuration. You know this point. Hence, large amount of energy will be required to remove the valence electron. This therefore option is incorrect. As therefore incorrect statement is option D. Next question number 11. Consider the following changes here M solid it changes to M gas respective so changes are given here observe carefully but the question is the second ionization energy of M could be calculated from the energy values associated with option A 1 plus 3 plus 4 option B 2 minus 1 plus 3 option C 1 plus 5 and option D 5 minus 3 which one is the right answer. As carefully observe the changes from reactant to products and observe the given options also. Students, the amount of energy required to take out an electron from the monopositive cation is called second ionization energy. Let's see here. Here I write M in presence of gas. It changes to M2 plus plus 2 electrons. Yes, here I write another changes, M get changes to M plus in the form of gaseous form as by the loss of one electron. Yes, on subtracting equation 3 and 5, yes, here I write two reactions. On subtracting these two reactions, we get M it changes to M2 plus by loss of electron, addition of electron. Yes, which one is the right answer students? Option D, 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3, D is the correct answer. Next question number 13. For which of the following reaction delta H naught value is equal to the first ionization energy of calcium? As for which following reaction delta H change in enthalpy or standard change in enthalpy value is equal to the third ionization energy of calcium? Students, the first ionization energy of an atom or molecule is the energy required to remove an electron from isolated gaseous atom or ion. So delta H naught value is equal to the first ionization energy of calcium. It is if you take calcium gas it changes to calcium ion by loss of one electron as it is also in the gaseous form. So which one is the right answer? Option B by loss of one electron. Next question number 15. Ionic radii R. Ionic radii R. 
ऑप्शन ए इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज ऑप्शन बी इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज ऑप्शन सी डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज ऑप्शन डी डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द स्क्वायर ऑफ इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज एस व्हाट इज अबाउट आयोनिक रेडिया स्टूडेंट्स द रेडियस ऑफ आयोन इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द इफेक्टिव न्यूक्लियर चार्ज the radius of the ion it depends on the effective nuclear charge more the charge more heavily the electrons are attracted towards the center and lesser in the size hence the ionic radii are inversely proportional to effective nuclear charge therefore inversely proportional to effective nuclear charge is the right answer which one is the right answer ionic radii are inversely proportional to the effective nuclear charge so want to write the formula you remember this formula rn equal to n square e not divided by z or this one is also written as rn is in inversely proportional to atomic number ionic radii in nth orbit ionic radii ionic radii of nth orbit is calculated by using this formula where n equal to principal quantum number n is principal quantum number principal quantum number and z is you know effective nuclear charge effective nuclear charge Yes, therefore, which one is the right answer, students? Option A. Next question number seventeen. The following statements concerned elements in the periodic table. Which of the following is true? Students, in the option they given, option A for group fifteen elements, the stability of plus five oxidation state increases down the group. Option B, elements of group sixteen have lower ionization enthalpy values. compared to those of group 15 in the corresponding periods option c the group 13 elements are all metals and option d all the elements in group 17 are gases which one is the right answer students when we observe the given options in that group 16 elements group 16 elements have less ionization potential than group 15 elements due to half filled configuration of group 15 elements this half filled electronic configuration gives extra stability to group 15 element and due to which their ionization enthalpy increases therefore option b elements of group 16 have lower ionization enthalpy values compared to those of group 15 in the corresponding periods is the right one option b is the right answer questions thank you so much in the next video we will solve some more multiple questions on the applied multiple choice part the questions from your already provided material thank you